Dataproc Introduction Dataproc is a managed cluster service within GCP that is used for running Spark and Hadoop jobs. It takes away the major management elements of handling clusters, VMs, and storage by yourself and takes those tasks upon itself so you can worry about the jobs themselves. Dataproc will set up the managed service and all you'll have to do beyond that point is send jobs to it. But setting up Hadoop and Spark clusters is a lot of hassle. First you have to set the VM up. And then you have to allocate the storage, the processing, and memory. Then you've got to install the software on the VM. And then you've got to repeat this process a couple of times to make the cluster. At this point, you might be thinking that this is a one-time thing that you can get over with easily and just move on. Not so fast. Down the line, you're going to need to grow your cluster. That's going to entail repeating the entire process again until you've gotten the growth you want out of your cluster. You also need to consider the downtime on your cluster. You won't always need it working for you, but just having it up and running is going to incur cost for what is essentially just wasted extra resources. This is also a good means of understanding why, generally speaking, managed services in the cloud are the better choice. Let's understand what's inside Dataproc and how it works on the inside. On the top of the hierarchy is going to be your master node. This node is going to be running the Yarn Resource Manager and HDFS named nodes. Then below that, you're going to find the worker nodes. These worker nodes are going to be running the Yarn Node Manager and will be HDFS data nodes. Each node will automatically come pre-installed with the latest stable build of Hadoop and Spark already on it. Not just that, but it's going to have a lot of other tools like Zookeeper, Pig, Tez, Jupyter Notebook, Hive, and a GCS connector. Beyond these, there's also many more components that you can install and add to your nodes. You can even create a custom image to be deployed to your VMs within Dataproc if you so desired. All the lower level management of storage and clusters is handled by the Dataproc service. Here's the major benefits of working with Dataproc. The first one is speed and the way in which you're charged. To set up a cluster that's ready to go takes about 90 seconds. Then, once the resources are up and running, you're charged per second with a minimum billable of one minute. This means that you can set up shop and process datasets or even scale up or down an existing cluster. You can even turn it off entirely if required and pay only for what you've used. The way Dataproc is used is as follows. You can submit the Hadoop or Spark jobs the same way you would for any service associated with Hadoop or Spark. Dataproc is compatible and interoperable with both of these. If it's required, the cluster can be set up such that it auto-scales according to the job load it receives. The outputs you receive from Dataproc can very easily be pushed to GCP services like Cloud Storage, BigQuery, and Bigtable. Dataproc integrates with Stackdriver, and you can use it for logging and monitoring job performance and output. 